said, he's speaking. Ye are gods. We are what? God, God. We aren't the God, but we are a, we are gods. You know why? Because we was created in his image. That's we right. was created to be rulers on this earth. But you know what happened? We let the black woman lead us. Go back to the first book with Adam and Eve. What was the downfall of the kingdom back then? With Adam and Eve. You said what? The woman. Because the woman always got to be the biggest out to the black man. We don't even need the white man to do nothing. He just set the black woman in the community, destroy us right there. Teach the kids to be dead, sodomites. Teach the kids, you can't even be a man these days. You either got to be a super thug or a super homo. Bring it out. in between. Right. You either got to be ready to catch your body or label one. Right. Why we can't just be men that, that's responsible men? What we out here to show our people is literally life and death. So give me first Corinthians 6 and 11. The world literally ain't offering our people nothing, bro. Nothing. Hey, bro, what's your name? Anthony. So what we out here to do is to show our people who we are according to the Bible. If you look on this sign right here, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the biblical Jews that's created by the Bible. We the real Israelites. These brothers that you see are teaching what a sense of earth is because of the judgment that's about to come to this place. That's right. Judgment is coming to the earth because the world don't know who God is. Check this out, Joshua. Read that. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 11. And such were some of you. Verse nine. verse 9. Verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So what people think is that you're going to die and you're just going to go to sleep. And you're going to sleep forever. But that's not the truth according to the Bible. You with me, Anthony? That's not the truth according to God. And when you die, if you ain't repented by the time Christ come back and crack that sky, your spirit will never die. That flesh is going to return back to the earth, but your spirit is going to dwell somewhere forever. It ain't going to be a purgatory where you just resting and everything is dark. You either going to be in that lake of fire or you're going to be in the kingdom with your brothers and sisters, keeping the laws of God, teaching the laws of God, and ruling over these nations. Read it again. What's your name, bro? John. John. So we got John and Joshua. All pray. No, you not. That the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But if you unrighteous, give me what righteousness is, Deuteronomy 6. So, but if you unrighteous, so God says, Know ye not that the unrighteous, meaning those that's not doing something, shall not enter into the kingdom of God. Let's see what it is, what righteousness is. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 25. No. And it shall be our righteousness. Our what? Righteousness. It should be our righteousness. Y'all know in the Bible, you know the word our, right, Ed? Anthony, Josh, y'all know the word our, that's possession. Like if I say that, uh, it's me and him going in on the business together. I say that this is our, does it belong to him? No, that's me and his. So God says this should be what? Our righteousness. It'll be our righteousness, meaning what? The people that you see on that sign. Because if I was to ask you your race, Anthony, what would you tell me? African American. What about you, uh, John? What you say your name was? John. 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 If I ask you the nationality of your race, what would you tell me? I'm black American. You see the, the confusion? We got one black American, one African American, and what would you say? Black. You see the confusion? Do y'all think that, did your ancestors come over here on slave ships? Yep. Nah, we was already here. So, our Lord the King of what? The so-called Hispanics, Native Americans, they was already here. But if you were so-called African American, Haitian, Jamaican, we came from the Eastern Hemisphere on slave ships over here with our brothers. It was, hear me out, it was once upon a time where the so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans were one great nation. The Puerto Ricans, the Dominicans, the, uh, the uh, Zebulon, the Panamanians, the Jamaicans, the Haitians, we were one great nation that ruled the earth. We had our Native American brothers on this side, and we held the other side of the earth down, and we subdued the whole world under God's commandment. But you know when we went off? Well, we wanted to follow the other nations. Instead of keeping the Sabbath day holy, we wanted to go turn up and go to orgies with white people. In Rome, we wanted to go have sex, go mess with all these women out here. Some of us even wanted to mess with the men. We went all the way up with what God told us to do. God said, hey, check this out, John. Because God told us to keep the Sabbath day holy, right? What's the seventh day of the week? Bring it out. Sunday. You said Sunday? Saturday. It's Saturday. What did the Christian church tell us? What day did they tell us to go to church? Sunday. Well, we're trying to show you that they lied to us. They finessed us out of the world. I'm not telling them to finesse you out of a nickel bag and some dope or even a quarter. We ain't talking about getting finessed out of a zip. We got finessed out of the whole world. We ruled the whole world and they finessed us out of it. You know how? Because we let them play on our head like we was weak. 
Oh, don't follow God, man. We got 365 guys. We got a God for every day. Don't believe in Jesus. Believe in the Easter Bunny. That lay the eggs. Wait, Easter Bunny don't even lay eggs. Oh, but we're going to set up an Easter egg hunt for the kids. You got to do it for the kids. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to set up Christmas. We're going to get the tree. We're going to set up present Sunday. But, but wait, Jesus ain't even celebrate his birthday. They don't even say December 25th is his birthday. Oh, but do it for the kids. And that's how they keep tricking us and finessing us out of what? The world. Because when we keep the Lord to God, he's going to return that back to us. So he says, know ye not that the uh, that, uh, the unrighteous, so we have to, what is righteousness? Read. If we observe to do all his commandments. So righteousness is keeping God's commandments. Right. You know what the commandments is? Anthony, you don't even realize you're keeping? Thou shalt not put a razor to your head. That's a commandment in the Bible. Don't put a razor to your beard. That's a commandment in the Bible. You know what God is about? Judgment. If you break his commandments, it comes with a judgment. So what, something as simple as putting a razor to my beard. What could be the judgment behind that? What happened when black people usually put that razor to their face? You get razor burns. You get those big black razor bumps. You know why? Because God told you not to do that. You're a lion. That's Wear right. your mane. Let your mane grow. Be a man. That's so what do they do when the white man that want us? We want to get one of them good jobs. You know what the first thing they tell you to do? Your Cut your hair. Get that stuff off your head. You know why? Because you look too powerful. That's you right. look like a threat. They mad that they can't grow the dress. Bro, I was walking down the street one day and see the white boy with some dress. I said, man, we can't have nothing, bro. We can't have nothing, bro. I said, it look nasty, disgusting, like it stink. You see the black man with it, it's just glowing tight. Look, crisp clean. We see, I'm like, man, man, what's that? We can't have nothing, bro. We sag our pants and stuff. You know the Chinese man sagging his pants. We want to wear braids. I mean, I see the damn, uh, the white girl. Why everybody following us? Because of who you are. We don't understand the greatest in who we are. Yeah. That's why when we see each other, you know what we see? We see ops. Ah, uh, you see another black man off top, he an op, he a threat, he an enemy. White people see us as the greatest thing on earth. God sees us as the greatest thing on earth, but we don't because we don't keep the laws. Go back to 1 Corinthians. So God said it should be our righteousness. Your righteousness is keeping God what? The laws. Bring it out. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 9. Bring it out. Bring it out. No, you not. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And those people doing that, they're unrighteous. Because the Bible says, give me that Leviticus 19, verse 17. The Bible says we're commanded to do something. Hey, Ann and John, check this out. How, how long have, have either one of y'all heard of Islam, right? The religion of Islam. How long have black people been following Islam? Break it out. For years, right? For a minute, right? How long have we been going to these church Christianity, right? Bro, we just realized it's a church right there. It's a church. It's a church on almost every corner. So why is it that the murder rate is sky high around here? You know what God's showing you? He ain't dealing with these places, bro. These were set up by the same people that put you in chains. You know what they did? It, they took him, the old man that knew the wisdom of the Bible. They killed him off. They took the young man, and you know what they told them? Come to church on Sunday. Jesus was a white man. Look, they told you this. Uh, the, you, that's what they told the kid. That's why when a young kid, bro, you know how many times we done brought the babies up to the side and said, man, which one is Jesus? Which one you think they point at the majority of the time? The, you, and that's why it's so easy for them to kill a man that look like them. Bring it out. That's why it's so easy for us to kill another black man, because you know what we see? Black, evil, bad, disgusting, it's an eye. You see white man, oh, that's massive. That's clean, you can't touch that. You're gonna mess with credit up if you mess with the white man. Don't do that, don't do that. But what about the black man? Look, if he step on your shoe, kill him. Kill him, make his family have to get a funeral, pay for the, the, uh, the sp spaghetti chicken, we gonna throw the whole, get the second line going. Bro, we destroyed mentally. Don't laugh, John, because it it's on you to build us up. You were supposed to teach us this. You were supposed to teach us this. But you, the thing about you, John, you better than a lot of men, because they won't even stop in here and shout, bro. You got black men on the corner trying to bring for a change in the community. What do you do? That's the mindset, because you know why? We see that as our guy. This is our guy. Ain't no black man got around here. I just went through the same shit. It, how you doing, sis? Do you see a black man as a God? Sis? You see the black man as God? A God? Huh? You said who's a God? Do you see your black brothers as gods on earth? No. I see my black men. <laughs> black is just color though. His skin brown. My skin brown. We just, just demand, give me that in Psalm 82 verse 6. What, what you, you gotta realize is, and that's why we, we are the way we are as a nation. The black man against the black man, the black woman against the black woman, the black woman against the black man. You know? Bro, these nations destroyed us, sis. Sis, what's your name? Ebony. Ebony. When we out here to show our people is that we ain't black. We ain't African Americans, we ain't colored, we ain't Negro, we ain't none of that. But let me show you what God calls us. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, 
in verse 6. Read. I have said. So God has said, ye are God. Anthony, what the Bible say? Ye are God. What that just say? Read it again. I have said. So God has said, he's speaking. Ye are God. We are what? God. God. We aren't the God, but we are and we are gods. You know why? Because we was created in his image. That's we right. was created to be rulers on this earth. But you know what happened? We let the black woman lead us. Go back to the first book with Adam and Eve. What was the downfall of the kingdom back then? With Adam and Eve. You said what? The woman. Because the woman always got to be the biggest out to the black man. We don't even need the white man to do nothing. He just set the black woman in the community, destroy us right there. Teach the kids to be dead, sodomites. Teach the kids, you can't even be a man these days. You either got to be a super thug or a super homo. Bring it out. in between. Right. You either got to be ready to catch a body or label one. Mm -hmm. Why we can't just be men that, that's responsible men? You know why? Give me that in Isaiah 3 and 12. Let me show you what God says. Because with Ebony, what you got to realize is you got to learn these men that you see, these ain't no black men. These men was made in the image of God. Uh, God. So were women, so when a man goes No, women, women, women was made in, women wasn't made in the image so of God. So they made in the image I'll show you, read. The book of, he know what he's talking about. Real men, so what the fuck is the purpose? The book of Isaiah, chapter three, and verse oh, three. You should stay filled with us, bro. The bill, you should feel with it. Look at the made from me, man. Damn, bro. Damn, you see what happens happening, bro? Damn, so, so you done came and made him so, and now you about to leave. This shit, look at job well done. Give me that in Mark 4 15, bro. Job well done. The black woman got to learn to respect the black men in these day and ages. The black woman is not God, ain't a God, none of that. That ain't what the, what's in the Bible. The most I said, he created the man in his image. But you know what the black woman do? What she do best? Destroy the black man and they go. You do the work to say, that's literally what's going on. And we can read that in the Bible. Read. The book of Mark, chapter 4, and verse 14. The sower sow of the word. So the sower sow the word. We out here sowing the word to Anthony. The word is being sown to Anthony. Anthony was actually listening, paying attention. Then what happened next? Read on. And these are they by the wayside. And he was by the wayside listening, taking heed. Where the world was so, uh -huh. but when they have heard, when he start listening, he start agreeing, it start making sense to him, it start clicking. What happened? Satan. Who? Satan. Who? Satan. And that's how you know the black woman is the devil on earth. That's right. The black woman is the devil on earth. Right. God said who? Satan. Satan do what? Come up immediately. And what Satan do? And take up away the word. And destroy everything that's being built. That's right. that's right. And destroy everything that's being built. And that's exactly why God cursed the black woman. That's why you can barely scratch a ponytail out your head. You know Bring what? Give me that in Isaiah. It's the judgment of the most high. That's, that's right. right. You got to wear blind wigs. got to wear wigs six feet long because you can't grow your own hair. Your own strength you can't grow. You know why? Because you hate the black men. You think it ain't that simple, but it is that simple. Learn to love the black men and love your people. Love your brother. Read the book of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 16. Moreover, the Lord saith, so God says something. Read. Because the daughters of Zion. Because who? The daughters of Zion. The daughters of Zion are you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women. That's you right. are the daughters of Zion. We That's right. Are haughty. Are what? Haughty. Prideful is our hair. How you can barely scratch a ponytail out your head walking around with your head in the air? Right. Stomach hanging all out. That's a judgment according to your sins. Bring but when the brother come out here and try to show you how to make a change and make it right, what do you do? You want to curse us out? Oh, y'all ain't no guys, y'all just black. Who the hell you tell us that we just black? Ain't there one of us up here black? The most I said I have called you gods. That's what the Bible said. That's right. We talking to a brother earlier, he said the woman run this block. We said the woman run the block, what the hell? That's the mindset of the black man now. We don't want to rule nothing. Let the woman run it or the white man. Step up and take the reins of the earth, black man. That's Bring right. Bring it up. Breathe. And walking with stretch forth next, and walking with stretch forth next. Next, longer than the ponytail you got on your head. Bring and we still you. walking around prideful, like we bad and beautiful. You ain't bad, beautiful, and bougie. You a nuisance. Jeez. You a nuisance. Read. And wanting eyes, and wanting eyes. Walking and missing as they go. Walking and missing as you go with what? And making a tinkle with, with the tinkle. She thinks she bad. She got some ankle braces and some new flip flops. She got some new Uggs. So her head and her, her, her nose is in the air. 
got the black man out here hearing the scriptures, then as soon as he come on to destroy him and tear him down and then walk away. Satan just showed up. Don't just stand there and listen, come be with it. God said God's gonna come be with it. We're your brothers, come be with it. Read. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab. God did what? Will smite with a scab. That's why God put your hair like that. Bring it out. Bring it's out. a judgment because of sin. Right. We don't hate our women. We love the black woman. Right. We ain't against the black woman, but we love the black woman enough to tell her when she's wrong. Right. We love the black woman enough to tell her she got to change. Right. The Christian church ain't doing that. Bring the Christian out. church can come tell you, tell you come into your yard and wear a big hat. The bigger the hat, the better you are. Right. So we show what has eight feet wide, head dragging on the ground, and still trying to stick your neck up. Breathe. We'll smite you, they scab, and God smited you with the scab because of it. Can barely scratch a ponytail. Talk about not demon. You no, know, you boy head because you evil. Right. That's right. You wicked. It's acne. It ain't no acne, it's sin. It's rebellion that got you like that. Bring it out. We can show you how to get your hair long. It ain't miracle, bro. It's righteousness. That's right. And watch your hair sprout out like broccoli. But no, we want to be in the midst of sin telling the black man, you just black. You just a nigga. Read. The crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. The daughters of Zion, that's you, sis. You a princess to the most high God. The Christian church talks to you as a black woman. You ain't no black woman. Your name means something. That's you an Israelite. It means princess to the most high. Come build with your brothers. We are here to fix the community, not tear it down. But something got to change. Because what we've been doing ain't working. Right. How you got brothers like that look like you, approach you, and the first thing you meet them with is hostility? Bring it out. Hostility. You got black men, how you ain't know we wanted to come learn and get some help? First thing come to your mind, oh no, get back. Get back, you about to run the money, y'all. Pass and eat them ties. Pass and eat that bread. Read. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. It will do what? We'll discover their secret parts. What's the secret part of the woman? Yo, the JJ. God says he's going to discover your secret parts. Bring it up. Let's prove it. Verse 24. And it shall come to pass. So something is going to happen. That instead of sweet smell. That instead of sweet smell. It ain't going to smell like frankincense and myrrh and cinnamon. Read. There shall be stink. It should be what? Stink. It smell like carp. It smell like salmon. The Bible said it's going to be stink. Confilka fish. Read. And instead of a girdle a rent, and instead of a girdle a rent, and instead of well set hair baldness, so instead of having that tight figure, you're gonna have a girdle a rent. Read. And instead of a stomacher, a girdle a sackcloth. A girdle of what? Sackcloth. A sack of potatoes. The sisters just literally walked up here with a sack of potatoes about to bust out the bag. Right. Like a, a, a can of biscuits. They got the nerve to tell us that we just black. We got some nerve. And what are we doing to bring any change? Listen to the little baby. We about to turn up and go look for some Easter eggs. Where did they celebrate that in the Bible? Bring it out. Where in the Bible did you see Christ running around looking for some eggs? Right. You don't see that in the Bible. That's go to right. 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Bring it up. We got to learn that something ain't right in the community. It ain't clicking. Right. You know what ain't clicking? The black man ain't taking and stepping up, and they ain't keeping God's laws or teaching God's laws. Right. Christ is not found in the community. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 1. Uh-huh. Be ye followers of me. So Paul, he's saying something. Paul dropping a nugget on the black man and the black woman. What did Paul say? Be ye followers of me. So we come to tell y'all, follow us. Black man, black woman, we found another way. It's another option in poverty. It's another option in game baby. Don't sell it. It's another option. Read. Even as I also am a Christ. As what? A Christ. We follow Christ. We ain't nobody. We're just doing the Lord's work and honor to do it. Bring it out. We just following Christ. And we come trying to tell y'all we gotta get back to the to the Messiah, the most high. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. 
Mason is children with robots.